guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Amber, and today we're going to talk all about the best peptide therapy options for athletic performance. Let's get back to the list. So epicatechin, 50 milligrams daily. This is a supplement. This is also taken by mouth. It's a capsule. And this has been shown to preserve muscle mass. So if you know about myostatin and folostatin, epicatechin really works well here. So your muscles are really endocrine organs in that they can produce some of these molecules that play a hormonal role like folostatin and myostatin. So we really want to increase the folostatin level, which is what apocatechin does, and decrease the myostatin level, and that helps us to build muscle. The reverse is also true. So if we have low levels of folostatin and increased myostatin, we're going to have difficulty building muscle. So apocatechin has just been known as a helpful supplement, really, to improve muscle repair and prevent muscle wasting. Now, MOTC is another peptide that I love using, along with 5-amino-1-MQ and NAD for mitochondrial function. So I think about these being really pivotal for mitochondria. When we fuel the mitochondria, we can get better output because all of your muscles and nervous tissue have dense, dense amounts of mitochondria. Those are the two tissues that really have the highest concentrations of mitochondria. So uh, these make sense from a output perspective in terms of muscle mass and, and the nerves that are firing to engage the muscles. MOTSI is a mitochondrial derived peptide. We use it for fat loss, but it also can help with muscle building. It, we use it in anti-aging protocols to reverse cellular senescence, which is really where the cells quit working properly in terms of energy production and clearing toxins out of the cell. So it's interesting, Motsi has actually been found in this, some of the longest lived Japanese people, you know, your centurions, people live 100 plus years old. So we found a link between elevated levels of Motsi, or at least very sufficient levels of Motsi, and extended lifespan. So this one makes sense from a mitochondrial perspective. We now have a lot of research that shows that mitochondrial decline can lead to so many of these chronic degenerative conditions, specifically dementia, a lot of diabetes, anytime the mitochondria are, are not functioning appropriately with metabolic capacity and the cells are just not producing energy like they need to be, we can get issues, right? There's tons of mitochondria in the heart as well. So if you think about heart help, mitochondria makes sense in supporting them. Here's more about MOTSI. MOTSI helps with increasing mitochondrial biogenesis, which in layman's terms just means the new production of mitochondria. And we tend to lose mitochondria as we age. They tend to get damaged by normal cellular metabolism or environmental stressors like alcohol, Tylenol, uh, a lot of medications, stress can cause a loss or unhealthy mitochondria. So we really want to keep preserve what we have and then help to generate new mitochondria. That's what MOD-C does. We know that MOD-C can help decrease insulin resistance, help with fat loss, better energy, right? Better transport of uh, blood sugar to muscle cells to be burned for energy instead of stored as fat. And then helps with metabolic health, improve health and lifespan. So lots of benefits to this one. The downside of MOTC is that it is quite cost prohibitive for many people to bring this on board. So 10 milligrams, uh, you typically have to mix this with bacteriostatic water each time you want to do that injection. And it is quite expensive for that once a week injection. But a lot of people, especially, I have some long haulers and people with Lyme, chronic infections that really notice an improvement on MOTC for their energy because it's really just fueling the mitochondria again. And then the last one on the list, C-Link or C-Max. These two are really awesome peptides. I think about C-Link as more specific for reducing anxiety, but it does have this nootropic brain enhancing effect as well. And then CMAX is really improving your level of BDNF. And BDNF stands for brain-derived neurotrophic factor. This is something that is like fertilizer for the nerve cells, and it helps with memory and learning. So the more BDNF we have, the more we're going to be able to retain information and focus on projects that we're working on or learning new information. C-Link and CMAX typically come as a nasal spray. And the reason that they do is it's a little bit more effective to cross the blood-brain barrier 
and work specifically on the brain here. C-Link has a uh, effect in terms of calming the brain with GABA production. That's the link. And CMAX works more on BDNF, as I mentioned. These are really effectively used for athletic performance because they improve precision and they improve reaction time. So if you are competing at a high level uh, as an athlete, reaction time is really, really key. And so mitochondrial support, things like MOTC, 5-amino-1-FQ, NAD injections like a peptide can be really helpful, any form of NAD. But these two really help here as well. And so typically that's one to two nasal sprays a day. And that's a very easy way to utilize this instead of having to provide an injection prior to working out. The only other peptide combo, the blend that I wanted to show you is this blend by Healthgevity. And it really, it's called Advanced Muscle Support Anabolic Peptides Complex. And this blend that's in here provides a lot of the repair capacity. So if you don't have access to the injectable peptides or working with a practitioner who can help here, uh, this would be a good option for athletic performance and athletic repair. It really has these three different proprietary blends. So Synactive, Astrogen, and Peptistrong. Uh, Noto Ginseng, Panix Ginseng has one, been one of the best things for performance, for energy, right? And I love utilizing this blend in athletes because many times the athletes that I've worked with will overdo the caffeine, right? It's caffeine in the morning, noon, evening, you know, before a workout. So instead of relying so heavily on caffeine beverages for performance, which they do, they can help, but essentially only to a certain extent, we can utilize some of these other nootropics, nutrients, mitochondrial support, ginseng, things that can help the cell to perform better instead of just really drawing on those adrenal glands to constantly being produced. We can use some of these compounds like ginseng, like these mitochondrial support options to help the cellular output to improve. Nootropics can be really helpful as well here with athletic performance instead of constantly relying on caffeine to output cortisol all day long and especially before a workout. It'll prevent that adrenal burnout situation that happens in a lot of athletes that suffer from overtraining issues. Utilizing some of these natural ingredients can, can really just make all the difference. And then one that we didn't mention as far as repair goes, connective tissue repair is BPC. We think about this for gut health, but it's also really amazing to protect the joints, connective tissue from damage. So if you're putting a lot of stress and lifting heavy weights or training frequently, you want to ensure that you're repairing well and, you, and the integrity of those tendons, connective tissue is really healthy. And so BPC is a way to also protect against some of those injuries. It comes in a capsule and an injectable form as well, as well as the spray. So let me know your thoughts on all of those options for athletic performance. Have you used any of these? Are you curious about getting started on these? These are options that are available through working with a peptide doctor or somebody who's trained in peptide therapy. I'll put the link where you can find a doctor who's trained in peptide therapy below. That's really the best way to go about starting on these or experimenting with these for athletic repair, right? I never recommend starting these on your own without medical supervision. These are really targeted strategies for someone. And there are potential side effects as well for some of these. And although peptides are really natural to the body in that we're providing chains of amino acids that help with repair, that help with cell health and cellular output. These do have potential side effects and I never recommend starting on any protocol with peptides without consulting a practitioner first. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, your comments, experiences. Have you used any of these combinations that you've seen helpful uh, in the past or other topics that you're interested in learning about as far as peptides go? So leave that in the comments. I am so thrilled to have you a part of the community. Thanks for tuning in. And if there's any other topics we can cover, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining the channel and we'll see you next week.